Triple T G Gang, we're reacting to man forces rude woman to pay during date. I gotta go in my pocketbook and get out fifty dollars. You can't pay fifty dollars. Okay, well I'm leaving. <laughs> he said nope. I can't pay fifty dollars. Ever. <laughs> I gotta go in my pocketbook and get out fifty dollars. You can't pay fifty dollars. Okay, well I'm leaving then. What? What's going on? With the baby in hand is crazy, y'all. <laughs> All right, so with these situations like this, <clears throat> what I be wanting to know <clears throat> is, is this agreed upon? And this is the thing. If you ask a woman to go on a date with you, then you pay. That's what I believe. I want to know in the comment section down below, what do you think? If the guy asked the woman out on a date, do you believe that he should pay? I believe if the woman asks you on a date as a man, then she pays. So I'm not understanding maybe this is some type of vengeful thing that he's doing because why invite a woman out just to not pay for her? You know, now I know this is at the end of the actual video. So I'm going to go ahead and react to that because I really want to see that. Maybe I'll do some other things in the compilation too, but I really want to see what's going on here. Who is this nigga right here? That's what I want. Who is this character? All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> Perfect clip on the list, guys. We have this woman over here. I guess this guy did not want to pay for the date anymore. He <clears throat> refused to pay. And this is what ended up happening. That is so funny. Look at the guy. The guy is like, <clears throat> the guy is like, he's me. I'm nosy as hell. When it comes to any altercation or anything going down outside, I'm looking. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm like, stop by, not stop by. I'm, I might stop by and check on him. Everything okay? I need some water. I'm probably do a refill. You know, walk by a couple times because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm just nosy as hell like that. But anyway, um, check this nigga out, man. Seven. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm my favorite clip on the list, guys. We have this woman over here. I guess this guy did not want to pay for the date anymore. Look he refused him. to pay, and this is what ended up happening. He was so disappointed by this, saying, "I guess you're gonna have to watch some." I wonder what. Hey, comment down below. What's going through his mind right now? The guy who just walked by. Shit, somebody better pay for that bill. I know that's what he's thinking. Woman holding up the bill. He probably like, shit, I don't care who pay. One of y'all better pay, though. Used to pay, and this is what ended up happening. She was so disappointed by this, saying, I guess you're going to have to wash some dishes because I'm not paying for this thing. It's <laughs> one thing to have a man constantly pay for you and you offering versus just expecting it every single time. Well, sir, I'm going to tell you this, right? <laughs> if the man asked that woman to go on a day and eat with him, in my opinion, just my opinion, this is not a fact that I'm stating, in my opinion... He needs to pay for that date. And you shouldn't feel like, oh, well, she didn't even offer. I mean, you can feel like that all you want. But at the end of the day, if you don't like that and it becomes a continuous thing that you don't like and you don't tell her up front, hey, you know, I ain't, I ain't paying for all these bills. You know what I'm saying? We can go out or whatever the case is. If we go out, you paying. It's on you today. Food is on you today type shit. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case is. Let that be known, but don't just out of the blue just pop up and tell a bitch you're not paying when you done invited her out. Like I said, I don't know the background or context of this situation at all, but if you invited her out to eat, you pay. And if you feel some type of way about her not reaching in her wallet or her offering to pay, if you feel that type of way, just don't deal with her after this. I don't know if it was, I don't know if they had had several days before this, but first of all, she, okay. I was about to say she ghetto as hell for bringing her baby with her. You know what I'm saying? And all of that. But I don't know. Maybe this is baby daddy. I don't know the context of this situation at all. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> with that being said, let me know what you think so far. Happening. She was so disappointed by this saying, I guess you're going to have to wash some dishes because I'm not paying for this thing. It's one thing to have a man constantly pay for you and you offering versus just expecting it every single time. Let me know what your thoughts are, though. What kind of this for? You to pay for the food? Oh, it's your turn to pay for the food. Okay, so it sounds like they already had an arrangement. I pay, you pay. I pay, you pay. I pay, you. It's like tennis. Boom! The shit is in your court now, bitch. Don't be trying to toss that shit back in my shit real quick like I didn't notice. No, bitch. The ball was in your court. Now it's your turn. So if they already came up with that agreement and that arrangement, lady, that's what it is. And guess what? I'm not paying, all right? And if I do end up paying... Because you want to renege on what you said the arrangement was going to be and you agreed upon? Guess what? This is the last time we will be going on a date. This is the last time. Point blank period. What would you do in this situation? That's what I would do. She don't want to pay. She really don't have the money or whatever the case is. I'm paying and this is the last time you will see me. Point blank period. 
you got to charge her to the game at that point. You know, you got to cut the bitch off at that point. Because we already had a previous arrangement. And now you want to act clueless. No, I got to cut that bitch off. Point blank, period. Let me know what you think. Time. Let me know what your thoughts are, though. Can't me this for? Your time pay for the food. It's who's turn to pay for food. Why would it Put some bass in your voice, nigga. It's your turn to pay for the food. It's your turn. Look, she don't even believe his ass. Like, man, come on, bro. It's who's turn to pay for food. <laughs> and he is all up in the table. He is all up in the conversation. That is me. I'm telling y'all, man. That is me to the T. I'm trying to figure out what the T is. <laughs> your turn to pay for the food. It's who's turn to pay for food. Your turn. Why would it be my turn to pay for the food and I'm here with my man? I can't hear you. What? I always pay for the food. You always pay for the food. Yeah. I always pay for the food. I ain't paying for it. This. You not paying for All right, somebody lying, bro. He says he always pays for the food. She's saying she always pays for the food. Comment down below. I need to know. What do you think? Who is lying and who is telling the truth? Do you believe he's paying for the food all the time? And why is it his face getting red and everything? But you know what? I like that he's standing on what he's saying. I like that about it. You know, but at the end of the day, if this is your girl, like... How does she not know what the program is? How does she not know that this is the plan? I pay sometimes, you pay sometimes, whatever the case is. Like, I couldn't, like, this is your girl? First of all, you never should have wiped her in the first place, bro. If you had a problem like this, if you had an issue like this, if you are, like, at your wit's end, if you have paid so many times, and now you're feeling reluctant to pay. Now you're feeling upset that you got to pay, keep, continue paying. Then, you know, she shouldn't have even been your girl, bro. Like, hold on. Let's go back a little bit. <clears throat> it's who's turn to pay for food. Okay. Why would it be my turn to pay for the food when I'm here with my man? I can't hear you. What? I always pay for the food. You always pay for the food. Yeah. I always pay for the food. Who's lying, bro? I ain't paying for it. Bitch. You not paying? So to me, it sounds like he does really always pay for the food. He getting red and everything. I think he's really nervous right now. I don't understand why you so nervous, bro. Like it is what it is. Stand on your shit. Say what you got to say and stand on your shit. Hey, I'm not paying nothing. All right. I'm tired of paying whatever the case is. But like I said, how did you end up in this situation in the first place, bro? How did you end up in the situation in the first place? You know? So you got to get rid of her, bro. That just is what it is. You got to get rid of her. <laughs> yeah. I always pay for food. I ain't paying for it. Yeah. You not paying for it? No, it's, it's only $50. If it's only $50, it. you got it, right? <clears throat> How's she going to say it's only $50, but you making a big deal about paying the bill? That's why I said, man, like he, in my opinion, he shouldn't even be in this predicament. And that's your girl, fam? You wife somebody like this? You're a poor judge of character, my guy. You know, and on top of that, it seemed like she just been using you for, you know, date. Maybe she maybe let me not even assume that she's been using him for dates and stuff like that. And and, and, and um, food, taking her out to eat and all of this stuff. But it sounds like homie put himself in this situation, honestly. And now you are you've had enough. So now you want to act like you don't want to pay when you pay all the time. So you didn't trained her to accept the fact that you're going to pay all the time. And now you want to put your foot down out of nowhere? Of course you're going to act like this. That's just my opinion, y'all. You know? Now, am I saying the way that she's acting is right? No. But just like a dog, right? If you don't train the dog to go pee outside, the dog is going to pee inside the house. The dog is going to be unruly because the dog is not trained. So to me, it sounds like she has been trained to get meals paid for. So that's why she's acting like, dude like come on it's only 50 bucks you pay every time anyway type shit you know what i'm saying so i think that this comes down to accountability on his behalf too and at this point like i said if he doesn't like it he needs to cut the bitch off point blank period you know what i'm saying I'm not doing this no more that just is what it is well pay for it why would i have to pay for anything if i'm here with my man you are my man. You're supposed to pay for everything. I don't pay for everything else, so you can pay for the food. You what? I don't pay for everything else. He can't even look her in his eye. I mean, he can't even look her in her eyes. 
you can tell that she just having it her way like Burger King with him. Have it your way. <laughs> and now he's tired of being the one that continues to pay and pay. But bro, it's already too far gone. You've already trained her to just just accept the fact that he because he my man, he gonna pay for everything. You've been doing it all the way up to this point. So can you really blame her for how you trained her? I like that. Can you blame her for how you trained her? No, you cannot blame her. Would it be nice for a woman to reach in her pocketbook and pay sometimes or at least offer, have the thought of paying? Sometimes it's just the thought that the man wants. Like if she offers, I'll even tell her, nah, we good, but I, I appreciate it. I'm taking a mental note that she would actually pay. She's offering to pay. But in this case right here, you trained her that way. So you can't blame her that way. You just can't, you know? And this probably ain't his kid. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It could be his kid. Um, shit. Ain't no fucking telling, right? Um, but it ain't like she like, did, did my kid too, this my this our kid, you know, whatever the case is. You my baby daddy. She ain't say you my baby daddy. She say you my man. You my man. <laughs> so in that case, you know, he probably looking at that baby too, man. Shit, I've been tricking on this bitch. I've been taking her out on dates and shit. She barely give me, she barely let me sniff the pussy and shit. And then I'm over here, you know what I'm saying, playing daddy daycare and shit. This ain't even my fucking kid. I'm feeling simpish as hell. You know, so at this point, he probably at his wits end after being used, you know. And, and it's just like, bruh, you should have never put yourself in that situation. You know, that's why you got to train her the way you want to train her. The way you want her to act is how you got to train her. Point blank period. You know what I'm saying? You you teach people how to treat you. And that's definitely true. Whether, whether it comes to friends, relationships, anything. We're going to wrap this so up. So I got to pay. I got to go in my pocketbook and get out $50. You can't pay $50? You can tell she ain't used to this at all, man. He seems spineless as hell. But you know what? Like I said, at least even though it's late as hell and it's too late and now you need to charge the chick to the game. At least now he he's he's growing a set of balls. I will say that. You know what I'm saying? At least now. But it's too late, bruh. Now it's just like you got to cut her off at this point. Okay, well, I'm leaving then. What? Oh, but you might as well go ahead and call the server and see who's going to wash dishes because it ain't going to be me. I'm not paying. I wonder if they still do that. Comment down below and let me know. Any servers, any previous servers or servers now or anybody who knows... Let me know in the comment section down below that they still allow people to go in the back and wash dishes and pay their dues. Let me know. Get all this for this. What? I ain't either. You ain't either? I can't for this. Oh. Okay. Look at him. He like, oh shit, fuck. It's coming out my check, man. I barely make, you know, what I'm making right now. He's not paying for it. So, so what he needed? What? He said that. And he said, why? What happened? He been wanting to get the scoop this whole time. We seen you, nigga. He's not paying for it. So, so what he needed, what, he said that I'm the woman, he been paying for everything all weekend, and now he want me to pay for it. Look, he, he, been, he been waiting to get this scoop, look at his face, he been waiting, he like, yeah man, stand on that shit bro, you fucking right. I'm the woman, he been paying for everything all weekend, and now he want me to pay for it, and it's only $50, sit back some, so he can, it's only $50, so what you think? He, what, you, what you want me to pay for it? Oh, nah, he need to go watch dishes or something. Well, I was going to watch that's funny as hell. That nigga said, so what are you saying? Because somebody got to pay for it. So you trying to say, I'm going to pay for it? I really wish we could have got the end of that too. I really wanted to see what he was going to say. Like, let me go ask my manager whether or not y'all can bust down some dishes or something. If y'all don't want to pay, you know? And then you got the baby in your arms and stuff. It's just like, oh my God, man. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Let me know how you feel. Who was right and wrong in this situation? I believe that they were both. You know what? I can't even say that she's really wrong. Because like I said, when it comes down to it, the man is the leader of the relationship. And I believe that he did not train her correctly. He did not train her for what he actually wanted out of the situation. And it shows. She always is getting paid for, right? So now you want to put your foot down. It's too late for that, bro. She's already been trained the wrong way. It's like if you train a dog to fight other dogs, right? 
You can't just untrain that. The dog is now a, a dog fighter. You can't take that out of that person. If you train a dog to be aggressive, you can't untrain that. You've already trained it. So it's just like, this is a lesson for you dudes out there and my studs out there as well. Make sure that you know what you want out of the situation with a woman and make sure that you train that woman so you don't have to blame that woman because you really should be blaming yourself because you didn't train that woman the way that you see fit for the situation that you want with her. That's all I got for today. Triple T G game. Make sure you stay true to the game. I will see y'all in another. Thank you.